Well, as journalists, we talk to Metro Police almost every day about both crime and safety, but we rarely get to talk to them about how the news affects them. Well, I had the chance to do just that the other day in a wide-ranging interview with the new undersheriff, Christopher Darcy. Uh, there are just different police departments. He's the most influential Metro officer you rarely see. As the new undersheriff, Christopher Darcy is second in command only to Sheriff Lombardo and is essentially the operations manager for the entire department. I, I gotta be honest with you, the reason I'm here is because I watch cops on TV <laughs> and I'm like, that's where I wanna go. After a stint in the military, Darcy joined Metro in 1991, working his way up through the entire organization, including a stint as bureau commander at Internal Affairs. The reality of it is, is that Officers make mistakes, and we have a system and a process to hold them accountable. And obviously we can debate, you know, how effective that is or not, but there's a system in place. But some of Metro's systems have come under plenty of public scrutiny, especially the police shooting reviews, often branded as little more than a rubber stamp. No, it's not a rubber stamp approval. Um, we go through a very arduous process of looking at that um, event and, and two different levels. One was the force appropriate lawful, right? Was it lawful? we used and should that, did that employee essentially commit a crime, right? And that's a review that's conducted with the district attorney. But additionally, we look at it from a tactics perspective. The undersheriff is quick to say that the officers in his command are people too, that they see and hear all the things being said about them, especially the recent demands to defund the police. Of course, we're human. Police officers are human. When you see, whether it's at Metro or any other city, when you constantly see this onslaught of negativity about defunding and, and getting abolishing the police and, you know, all the things that they spray paint on walls, right? Of course, it takes its toll on people. We just want to make sure that we're spending our money in the wisest manner and that we're doing what police should be doing. But Darcy says all the talk of defunding has not hurt their staffing numbers or recruitment. We've always had a little challenge, right? Um, as the business world starts hiring, then more people may be inclined to go that direction. Um, but fortunately, um, our positions are, you know, generally full. Uh, we just graduated an academy of 81 students that we're very happy about. And those 81 graduates, like all that have gone before, are well trained and a hallmark of Metro's approach to policing, community involvement. Our community relations is of the utmost importance, right? It's how we interact every day. And we have units that are dedicated to just doing that. However, we expect it from all of our officers. That traditional aspect of policing where an officer knows the beat, right? And walks through the neighborhoods and walks through the, the community and knows the business owners, that knows the religious leaders in that community and have that kind of interaction so that people will, will continue to trust us. And they realize that we're people too and then we can solve the problems together. In part two of my conversation with the undersheriff, we touch on the use of body cams, diversity within the department and how the police filter online noise to leverage the internet in their work.